for all your support. You look so handsome, as always. And I noticed you've got some increased girth going on. Good for you, man. It's really important. Now, if you remember last episode, it was kind of uneventful. I had two rage quits, which is awesome for the team. And honestly, it's kind of annoying because in a season, if I have multiple rage quits, you guys lose out on episodes. Except I went to head-to-head -to -head seasons today to check my record, and I have good news for you. As you can see, our current record is three and yes, one. Sir. The last episode, I got two rage quits, so it should be four and one. However, for some reason, EA did not count one of those games. So for once, EA being an absolute dumpster fire of a company works in our favor. And the reason I say that's good, yes, we're one less game away from the playoffs, but you guys get an extra episode, which is what I wanted anyway. And we still got all the upgrades on Clay Matthews thanks to that. So before we hop into this episode, let's take a look at the team. I'd say this team looks super, super good, except we're in the end game at this point. Everybody's got a 95 plus overall team and they all have amazing abilities on every player. We're never going to play somebody whose team is worse than mine. It's just not going to happen. I got to give it up to Marshawn Lattimore. He played amazing the last two games. He's not going to cut it in the long run. Legereus Sneed is just straight up trash. Tyran Matthew as a backup is horrible because he does come in on a lot of formations. So we got to get him out of there. Clay Matthews, obviously, I got to get some more upgrades on him. Last episode was a big one for us. We are now three upgrades away from Clay Matthews being maxed out. Darnell Dockett is awesome. Jason Pierre-Paul sucks. Alex Highsmith was okay. And then offensively, Zach Martin, Roger Saffold, and Isaiah Wynn are all kind of weak for this point in the year. But I actually think the biggest thing I want to upgrade is tight end. TJ Hawkinson is outdated. I really like him. I'm glad he was a prestige. He's made some clutch plays, but he's short and he is no longer fast. 92 speed used to be fast. Now Vernon Davis is in the game. So 92 speed is not fast anymore. Either way, I have no complaints. My team is great, but there's certainly a lot of work we can do, even though it does look like my team is really solid. All right, boys, our first spin on the final season. I think I'd love to grab a corner or a safety. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes. Oh my God, this is amazing. Team of the year. Oh, I know who I'm getting. I know who I'm getting. Oh, I know who I'm getting. Wait, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't know who I'm getting. The team of the year fantasy pack. I think it was for completing the team of the year solos. You got this one pack, which gives you one of any team of the year player. It's been sitting out of my unopened since team of the year dropped. Oh my God, they're all so fucking good. McCaffrey would be insane. Quentin Nelson would actually be insane. Zach Martin. Lane Johnson, don't need. Tyree Kill, I don't need. Travis Kelsey. I can make a big tight end upgrade right now. He's got 96 speed. He's better in every single category pretty much, but he's got the same strength. Even run blocks better. Oh, I really could do that. AJ Brown's off the table. Trent Williams would be a nice pickup. Sertan. Oh my god, I have to. It's a 6'2", 98 speed corner. He, he's basically Sauce Gardner all over again. It's crazy. I mean, Sauce Gardner is honestly a lot better still. Like, look at the look at the fucking stat difference. But still, I mean, that PS2 is, is a top five corner in the game. Oh, but there's Ramsey too. Shit, I forgot there was a Ramsey. I won't go Ramsey because I already have Aaron Donald. I know Jalen Ramsey's technically a Miami Dolphin for now, but if I'm going to anybody, it's Pat Sertan. If I'm getting a corner, it's Pat Sertan. Derwin's nasty, but I can't replace Palomalu. I gotta wait for his upgrade. What if I just fucking YOLO'd on you guys and got Kyle Juicy Juice, man? Hey, Ty. Hey, I'm actually recording your next Wheel of Mutt right now, but, um... Hey, <laughs> I know, right? Did I call you back? No, 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 this is totally fine. Hey, guys, I'm actually talking to Ty, the incredible editor who edits these Wheel of Mutts. Ty, do you want to say anything to the boys? Hey, um, I mean, not really. <laughs> you disloyal, fool-ass, bitch-made punk. Jay! <laughs> he said, fuck you. Oh, that's oh, awesome. You better. You better. I know. I let the boys down. I, I mentioned that in the intro to this one. I was like, last one was uneventful. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have a heavy heater right here. There is a Jair Alexander, too. So if I'm going to go corners, I got to look at Jair. Oh, Jair's 5'10". No, thank you. Got to watch the animation at least one time, right? George Kittle. Oh, shit. We could go with George Kittle. I think I do have to go a corner. Even though, like, grabbing George Kittle or Travis Kelsey would be kind of sick. Oh, that George Kittle's nasty. But no, I mean, I do know the smartest route here. And the smartest route is to take a corner. And I'm going to take PS2. I'm taking Patrick Sertan. That is such a good corner. An amazing addition to the team right here. He's also going to get nasty abilities. So let's take a peek at what his discount abilities are. Pat Sertan with 98 speed, 96 excel. Incredible stats across the board. Great size and weight for these big wide receivers. One AP acrobat makes me literally fucking horny. Oh, that's so good. Oh! 
Ah! One AP Acrobat. We can get Pick Artist for free or Deep Out Zone KO. I'm gonna go Deep Out Zone KO. I think Deep Out Zone is really, really important. All right, Pat Sertan for two AP. We get Deep Out Zone and Acrobat. We're gonna have to reevaluate our abilities on defense once again. It's not gonna let me fly with that many abilities. Our CB1 and our CB2 are boosted to a 99. And then Lattimore's a 94 at CB3. So once we take care of Lattimore, I'm honestly tempted to get the Easter Limited Lattimore because that's a 98 overall. And Lattimore's played so good. I feel like Lattimore earned a spot, you know? All right, an amazing start. That's the exact addition I needed on that first wheel spin. Let's see what our second one. Oh, 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 this will be fun. Oh, I'm gonna use this on a tight end. I have to use this on a tight end. You guys have never seen this spin? Suggested by someone in the comments. Thank you for your galaxy brain. Let me explain. So I can take any player in the game who is a 90 overall or lower. And if I can get them a touchdown in the upcoming game, I get to pack a punch that player. For example, George Kittle. If I took George Kittle's, I, I actually know, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So for example, George Kittle has this 86 overall core elite. If I can score with him in today's episode, I can pack a punch him after the game into 98 overall team of the year. George Kittle right there. You know what? I'm gonna buy the team of the year, George Kittle, preemptively. It's, it's gonna be a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm spending the coins on him right now because I know that I'm gonna pull this shit off. And it'll be really embarrassing if I don't, but whatever. I know there's other tight ends in the game, but I was just looking at that team of the year, George Kittle, and I think I'd rather have, like, a fan favorite current player than some super meta tight end from the fucking 60s. So I have one very important goal for today's episode, and that's to get 86 overall core elite George Kittle. Six foot four, 84 speed, 85 catching. <laughs> Shit, Jesus, this is gonna be hard. Luckily, I have Hot Route Master on Herbert, and I could technically sub Kittle in at wide receiver, so we have to pull on some fucking shenanigans, but we'll make it work. All right, that takes us to our third and final spin. I would take a third corner or a backup free safety if I get to choose here. I guess I do get to choose, but I just have to hope one of those positions are in there. This is top 10, 94, 95. We're just gonna sort the auction house by all their 94, 95s, and I can take out of the top 12. Whatever cards I see on my screen, when I sort this by overall, I get to choose out of them. Sort by, oh wait, not by overall. I'm an idiot. Not overall, obviously. Sort by time remaining. God, I'm struggling, man. Time remaining. We get to choose out of these 10. Hollywood, Pat Sertan, PS2, Trayvon Diggs, Nolan Cromwell, tight end. Tom Brady, goat. Harold Landry. Chris Hinton, twice. Mike Vick. And then Thaddeus Moss. I feel like I gotta go Trayvon Diggs. I feel like he's probably significantly better than Lattimore. I guess I can put Trayvon Diggs at CB3. And then I can put Lattimore as my backup free safety. Because Lattimore is still gonna be better than Tyran Matthew. Tyran Matthew sucks. Let's compare Trayvon Diggs and Marshawn Lattimore. Because I don't want to take Lattimore out. Just because I've got a personal, personal agenda here. Okay, so Trayvon Diggs is an inch taller. And one more speed. Most other stats are the same, if not better. Better man, better zone, better press, better play rec. I gotta go Trayvon Diggs here. 94 of all Trayvon Diggs, who does also get zero AP pick artist, so it'll be a free ability as well on defense, so that's a good addition right there. All right, first things first, Trayvon Diggs is coming in at CB3, and now we gotta get 5'9 Tyran Matthew out of here. This looks great. I think I have three Acrobats out there right now. I've got Acrobat Sauce, Acrobat Sertan, and I've got Acrobat Palomalo, I think. We're sitting pretty at a 95 overall, some massive defense some upgrades. Honestly, the upgrades that I wanted to make. So I'm really, really happy about that. So goals for today's episode. Number one, obviously win the game. Number two, we need a touchdown with George Kittle. And number three, I'd love to get some stats for Clay Matthews. Any significant stat will get him an upgrade. Ah, 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 I just started the game and I didn't do the challenge wheel. Mine's got a new addition, which is Pat Sertan and Christopher. What do you got? Stabler, Jamar, and Sauce. I'm telling you boys, we're gonna see teams like this the rest of the season. So we gotta pony up. And of course, the challenge wheel dude i've been so good about it i can't believe i started the game before getting it our challenge wheel is is it gonna be a shut off Ooh. I just called that a shut off. I don't know why. I, dude, I, my brain is scrambled right now. A shutout in one half. A very difficult challenge. I need to get a shutout, but I'm also subbing in this trash linebacker as my user. Oh, can I TFL right now? Run that football. Oh, he's, he's shit. He did. A pass. Ooh, okay. Good pass. Oh, we need a big hit. Hey! All right, we're gonna play actual coverage. This could be a run. I'm gonna go for this TFL with Clay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Clay Matthews! That's an upgrade! That was on Saquon! Clay Matthews with a moss. I'm, I'm tempted to bring Nitschke back in. We already got... Oh! Oh, great defense, gentlemen. He is, he's nervous right now. Oh, this is a pass 100%. I'm sending heat. We're sending the boys on this one right here. Oh! 
Wait, what? Eric Berry, that was questionable. All right, hey, no worries. Let's move past it. First and 10. It's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. I missed. I don't know if it would have been a TFL anyway, but I missed. I'm on Alex Highsmith on accident, but whatever. Hey, let's go. Third and 13. JPP with the sack right there. I'm going to go man coverage. I don't do it very often. I got to guard 26 myself. Oh, a whip route. Great whip. He knew I was on him. He makes a great move. Yeah. Wow. And Troy Palomalu just sitting on the block. I didn't expect the whip and my user was on it. That was a great play by my opponent. And there's Troy Palomalu getting blocked for fucking days. All right, no shutout in the first half, that's for sure. We had a lot of opportunities to make a stop there, so hopefully we can get one later on in this game. First and 10, let's see the defense. Ooh, Hawkinson is wide open. Barry is pretty open. Nice catch. Damn. That was not easy. Second and nine. I want to get Barry moving. I just, I'm a little scared about this defense. Let's try it though. Ooh, cut that back up the middle, Barry. I see you. I got to get the George Kittle touchdown right now. That's a zone again, which leaves Scary Terry wide open. I'm not bringing in George Kittle yet. I got to get closer. I don't think George Kittle can make some crazy ass play. I'm going to run this ball. I think they're spread out enough that I can. Oh yeah. Look at those blocks. Get the fuck off of me. Let's go, Barry. Okay, this is super weird, but let's just see how this looks. Gotta look at George Kittle. I'm sending it to him. Hey, yo, what so the greedy. Fuck? So fucking greedy. Matt, you're just such a fraud. Look at Abraham Lucas, though. Oh, I missed. It's just pure greed. Pure greed. Horrible throw. Not open. Nobody can make the tackle. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even that worried, though. I like, I don't like being down 14, but I'm really not that worried. We're gonna win this game, boys. We need this one bad. We have so many good additions to the team. We're three and one. We just gotta lock in. I'm gonna go up to Megatron. He should have this. He does. Eats a big hit. I'm gonna call a timeout here. So open. Herbert just sent that to nowhere. Shoot. I don't think this is man this time. So it is man, but he is just so far off of Hawkinson. It's not even funny. I'm going to take this right out of bounds. I technically could be chewing clock right now, but that's okay. Kill. Oh my God. He's actually there. It would have been a really hard throw, but damn, we are shanking these passes right now. I'm going to motion Kittle over. Kittle. George Kittle! No way! No way! He caught that! Core Elite! George Kittle! That puts us on the board. We get the ball at half. The best case scenario right now, he tries to score and turns the ball over, and I can score again. Ooh, nice pass into Cooper Cup. He gets it. He calls his first time out. First and 10. I'm in man coverage. This could be risky. Just like that. I, I pulled that Alex Highsmith and I thought it was stupid. I was like, I don't need this. But now that I think about it, a linebacker has way better hands than a DN for that exact scenario. Just heaves one on Sauce Gardner. He's kind of open. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, yeah. You just ran 80 yards downfield in 12 seconds. The whole team did, even the offensive linemen. Are you shitting me? Whatever. I give the ball a half. Whatever. That's a bunch of bullshit. I'm Sauce Gardner. This game won't be decided by three points, so it doesn't matter to me. Oh, torched him. Oh, Jefferson might go. Jefferson is going to go. 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 Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. I knew it was Sam Will Blitz. Justin Jefferson torches his man. Jefferson might be the MVP of this season, man. A lot of players have made a lot of big plays, but Justin Jefferson has been the most consistent. Throws into Gronk. Oh, big hit coming. Oh, wow. Let's send a blitz here. Oh, great time. Great time for that. Darnell Dockett, second and 14, absolutely lights him up. Throws into the halfback, gets lit up by Nitschke. We got a fourth down. This is one of our biggest plays right here. I'm going to drop all into coverage. I think he's going to try and hit something just like what he just hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Nitschke. 21 to 17. A massive turnover. I'm reading this motherfucker like a buck. I'm going to send this to the right side since he shifted. Overcommitted with his with his uh, user a little bit there. It's second and eight. I'm gonna milk a little bit of clock here, but not too much. I don't want to get too aggressive with that right now. I'm gonna block Barry. We're gonna look for an easy throw here. Easy. 
That's the exact throw I wanted. And Hawkinson's gonna fight. Hey, hey, he kind of set himself up. Oh, he knows. Ooh, but we can cut it back up the middle again. Samuel Blitz, I just hit Barry out the backfield, right? It wasn't? Oh, is this man? Ooh, I don't know. Oof. Definitely taking my field goal, though. Not gonna fake it. Fuck that. 24 to 17. We're gonna kick off. Dude, our defense has been excellent. So what's your strat here? If you're coming out and running the ball, and you haven't done this all game, you want to chew the clock and score no time left and maybe go for two. Is that what you're thinking? He's got the whip route. Ooh, nice move. Oh, yeah. We're there that time. He did kind of chew that clock. That got into the red. Let's see if, see if he does it again. You know, I think this is a pass now. I'm going to send the blitz. Go get Stabler. Go get him! Oh, you got that ball off? Really? He's got halfback if he wants it. I see it. Don't you throw that. Don't you throw that! Ooh, if he, if I, if he caught that, I would have been... Oh, you would have never seen me so mad. I'm sending a blitz. I'm getting risky as fuck here. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Let's go! Got him! Was that Highsmith again? Is that really Highsmith again? Oh, what a play. That was a gutsy blitz. I feel like Justin Jefferson's about to be so stupid open. And he is. Can the user get there? He can't. <laughs> Oh, this ball game. It's not exactly ball game, but it's pretty much ball game. He tried to get there, but he was just under it. That takes us to the two minute warning. We just, I'm literally running the ball three times and kicking a field goal. It's a weird one, but wow, we clawed back, gentlemen. Hey, it ain't over till it's over, so let's let's not go crazy yet. But third and 16, I'll run one more run play. I'll burn another one of his timeouts. We'll kick a field goal to take a two possession lead, and then we'll play a little bit of defense. Barry just burning clock. That's an awesome play right there, Barry. But, ooh, that's moving. That's moving kind of fast. I hate that. I hate it. But whatever. We drill it. 27 to 17. We cannot let him score here. We could literally get a Clay Matthews upgrade, a George Kittle. We could get everything. Holy shit. It could be a perfect Wheel of Mud episode, but we have to stop him. Let's go Parsons. Let's guess pass. Let's see what he goes with. My game. Ball game. Damn it. I wish I had Clay Matthews in. Let's <laughs> go. He crumbled. Hey, listen, boys, be honest with me. When I threw that pick six to PS2 and it was 14 to zero, what, what were you thinking looking at your phone screen? Were you thinking, damn, Papa Meeks really just sold this game? What an embarrassing game for Papa Meeks. But guess what? We stuck around. We hit George Kittle. We got Clay Matthews at TFL. We clawed back and won the game. Shout out Ray Nitschke, man. Shout out Justin Jefferson. So Herbert, 119.9. Saquon, you know, I gotta say, I think if he went to Saquon's a little more, I think he might've had a little more success, but I can't even say that because I tried going to Barry and I was I don't know I guess the last three carries by Barry were literally void his Cooper Cup was three for 58 Jefferson two for 111 that's pretty much it we had George Kittle one for 12 and of course the touchdown you can't take that away from him Megatron had one very big high ball catch Gary Terry had a big one for 20 four wins and one loss gentlemen one more win and we head to the playoffs and we have the cushion of one loss if we had to take one so first things first 90 minus but a pack a punch if we score a touchdown with him works flawlessly for 98 overall George Kittle who is worlds better than Hawkinson Hawkinson I love you man but look at those stats Hawkinson doesn't have him in a single category I knew starting tight end is team of the year George Kittle now George Kittle presumably gets nice abilities too so we gotta take a peek at that deep out elite for one route tech for two mid in for one short in for zero honorary lineman for zero. Oh, deep out elite for zero that's what I'm looking for there ain't shit else I need on him by the way a lot of people were commenting that scary Terry X Factor is free. Yes, that's true, but you can only run three X Factors. I'm not going to waste an X Factor on max security. That X Factor sucks. The good thing is I can still run TJ Hawkinson with Short Out Elite because it is totally free. And we are very close to getting Megatron to a 97. We have to wait for like one more promo to drop, but it'll hopefully be a 97 in the playoffs. Not a 99 though. It's not going to happen. And of course, I can't forget. We didn't make a monster TFL on Saquads for nothing. Play Matthews gets an upgrade to a 91 overall. What I I love about the fact that he's a 91 now is when I sub him in at middle linebacker user, he's not such a liability. And when I first subbed him in, he had 81 or 82 speed. Now he's got 86. It's still not great, but it's a lot better. The next upgrade, he'll be at 88. And then after that, I think he goes all the way up to 94, 95 speed. He's crazy good as an ultimate legend. We put in our work, but it's finally about to pay off. All right, boys, that was an amazing Wheel of Mutt. Honestly, one of my favorites today. Clawed back from 14-0, a challenge wheel, a Clay Matthews upgrade, and a touchdown. George Kittle to add him to the squad. I can't ask for much more. But hey, I love you guys. Thank you for watching as always. I'll see you in the next Wheel of Mutt.
Peace.